Moses Kuria is an Azimio mall. We have reasons to believe so and backed by facts. Let's look at the history of Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria was first in Hustlers, 100% Hustlers movement. Then Moses Kuria, after going to India and meeting Raila Molo Dinga, according to the, the, the information that we, we, we got back then, he joined Raila Molo Dinga. They talked about a number of so many things up there. Then when Moses Kuria came back, at one time we thought he had actually decamped from the Hustlers Nation and joined the Uhuru, Uhuru, Uhuru uh, Raila led camp. Then all of a sudden, we saw Moses Kuria back to the Hustlers Nation. Now, there has been, there has been back and forth, you know, uh, Moses Kuria has been moving from one camp to another camp, indicating working with another camp, but then again, being seen physically in another political camp. Now, when Mata Karua was actually nominated as this running mate for Azimio and Kenya Alliance presidential uh, candidate Raila Molodinga, Moses Kuria in an interview said that the only person he, trust, he trusts is Mata Karua. I was wondering, with the rich CV that you described that she comes with, when you look around, if it's the four horse race or the two horse race that you're talking about, where is it best uh, that um, she joins in working for the presidential ticket? Well, I think, you know, that's the amazing thing with Mother Karwa is that she can, she can, she fits in all because she's coming in to cure a disease that is not with one person, it's with all persons. All these people are a risk to this country. I dare say without a risk of contradiction. Karonzo Musioka represents a risk. Musalia Modabadi represents a risk. William Ruto represents a risk. Raila Odinga represents a risk. So the de-risking factor, the mitigating factor for all these four, when I look around, nobody can tie the shoelaces of Mother Karo in terms of de-risking, making people say, even if so and so tries to become rogue, even if so and so tries to take this country to dogs, at least there is somebody there, there is a safe pair of hands. You know people asking in whose hands are we safe? In the hands of Mother Karua as a deputy president. Only that, the rest we are not safe. Mm -hmm. We are not safe with Ruto. What does that mean? That means Moses Kure does not trust Rigati Gachagwa, who is actually the, 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 the running mate to Dr. William Samoy Ruto with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Now, by Moses Kuria saying that it believes that Kenya is safe in Matakarua's hands, what does that mean? Literally, you cannot be saying that you actually in this camp, but do not feel safer in this political camp, but find that the other member of that camp is actually the most preferred person to lead the, the nation. So that means this is someone we can comfortably call a watermelon. I mean, that tag is best suited <coughs> in him. So what, what we're trying to imagine this time round after the altercations over the weekend when uh, during the Hustlers Express uh, campaigns whereby William Kabogo and uh, the Senator Matangi had, you know, uh, the, the, the growing feud that was actually witnessed in the campaign spoke volume of the problems that are there in the hustlers camp. Now, Kabogo got support from Moses Kuria. And this led to Moses Kuria calling uh, Kenya Kwanzaa as a, an, a political outfit that is comprised of deceit politics of deceit and remember these are things that uh, William Samoy Ruto have been using to refer to uh, to Raila. Now the, the, when Moses Kura talks about political deceit being experienced in uh, and, and con conmanship being experienced in Kenya Kwanzaa what does that mean? That means this person is playing a particular game and I think William Samoy Ruto should be very careful uh, with, with, uh, with uh, Moses Kura because now going forward after talking about political deceit and political conmanship, he again the following day attended Ruto rally. Katika kaunti yangu ya Kiambu 
to Conastrol projects worth 52 billion shillings. Project about the Meanza is Bokua to Kalimino, is a Zigina Zote, Rugu Tu Nini, Project Zote, because of virus in Aito Hanshik, Zote Zirisimama. So to Kichigua is a Rikali, Bada Siku, Churches Zimebaki, we look at all these issues from Northern Collector, Sisikama producers of Amaji, Kiabu to Kona shortage, Kajiado is a very big problem, Machako is a very big problem. So we must look at this problem uh, holistically. I mean, he was even given a, a podium to, to talk about the things he believes in. So that means, and, and by that, we could sense that Kabogo was left alone. I mean, William Kabogo found himself alone. At first, he had the support of Moses Kuria, but then Moses Kuria again shifted to this other end, leaving Moses Kuria, leaving William Kabogo. Uh, alone, as a lone ranger. So now, well, we know that William Kabogo is still stuck to his guns and he is not really comfortable with going back to Kenya Kwanzaa at the moment. But Moses Kuria, according to what I think, it could be that there was a game. He was trying to, you know, fool William Kabogo into denouncing being, you know, being with the Kenya Kwanzaa and then going back to the same Kenya Kwanzaa so that Bobogo Kabogo finds himself alone uh, this other side, Moses Kuri has gone back and he's actually made fences with William, William, William Ruto so that's what we are saying that I think the politics of Moses Kuri however unpredictable but I think is, these are the politics of a watermelon because that is a tag that resonates well with his character at the moment. He is here, jumps to this other camp, then talks bad about this other camp, goes back, comes back. I think even William Samoy Ruto is observing him. I don't think that Dr. William Samoy Ruto is unaware of this game plan. I think William Ruto being a very smart politician, as we've always referred to, is playing his cards pretty well. And his eyes are on Wamatangi, becoming the governor, and Moses Kuria and Kabogo flopping. I think that is what William Samoy Ruto is after. At the moment, he's not willing to risk any vote. That's why he can't just denounce William, uh, denounce Moses Kuria. So he will observe him while he jumps ships, uh, ships here and there. But <coughs> the only thing that I think William Samoy Ruto should refrain from is giving Moses Kuria too much details because I think this is a mall and it could be that he's spying on the two camps and providing information in either of the camps. We're not sure about this, but these are things we believe are happening. Now, dear viewers, we've come to the end of that analysis on Moses Kuria being the mall. Now, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button if you're a first-time visitor. And as usual, if you are a subscriber, you can like, you can comment, and we are so glad that you've been with us. And until later, have a lovely time.